Hey, Jeff Kresge here, tech integrator for Jamestown Public Schools, and I'd like to talk about the coaching cycle. The coaching cycle can be broken down into four separate sections, but it's ultimately designed to help you, help your kids, and help our community push themselves to higher levels. Let's dive into the coaching cycle, shall we? The first part is to determine your goals. Now, what does your perfect unit look like in your head? What's important to notice about the goals is they're your goals. The coaches will help you get there, but it is ultimately the teacher who decides their goals, they decides their steps, and decides what the lesson's gonna look like. The next thing that we'll do is we'll figure out where you're currently at and the steps that you need to take to get to that ideal. Again, it's important to note that the steps will be the teacher. Sure, the coach will help and will guide on the side. We'll, we'll provide support wherever necessary, but it's the teacher that is really gonna drive the coaching cycle. The third thing that will have then occur is that I will support you as you actually perform that lesson or that unit in the classroom. As far as what it is that we're planning, it really doesn't matter. It could be a unit, it could be a lesson, it could be one day, two day, it could be project di driven, or it could be a stations activity. It really doesn't matter. That's gonna be entirely up to the teacher. The fourth step then will be to reflect on your successes. We will celebrate your successes and anything that you feel didn't quite live up to your perfect or ideal, we'll figure out what went wrong and how to make sure that that gets to the perfect the next time we do that lesson. But perhaps what's most important about the coaching cycle is that you are comfortable. Remember, we're all in this together for our kids and our community. So whenever you're ready, request a coaching cycle and hey, let's have some fun.